nonprofit helping families with children suffering from brain tumors. Every year, the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation serves more than 28,000 children and teens nationwide. And joining us to discuss more about their mission is Kimberly Roy Canning. Thank you for taking the time early on this Saturday, this Thank rainy you. Saturday, to come out and talk to us. So let's talk about you've been serving families across the country and New England for years but you've just recently started or launched a chapter here in the Northeast. We did. We just launched the Northeast chapter of the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation with a hub right here in Boston. And the reason we did that is so that we could bring our services even closer to the families that we help and give a more personal touch to the services that we offer and really help to develop a community of support for these families, which is so important with this disease. Tell us about the services that you do offer. How do you help families? We help families in a number of ways. One, one is through the Butterfly Funds, which is an emergency financial assistance fund. And we have those available right here at Dana-Farber. This year already, we've provided more than $11,000 in funds to families in financial need as a result of this disease or who might be struggling with some rent payments or mortgage payments, gas bills, etc. Mm -hmm. And even families who are coming here for care and need help with those expenses, right? Yes, exactly. And we also have a, a team of support that can help. We have a social worker on staff who's always available for telephone calls. We have an award-winning video series called the Imaginary Friends Society and that uses animated characters to help explain treatment and sort of the journey, the process, some of the side effects like hair loss, how do you return to school after a diagnosis like this, and it explains it in child-friendly terms so that kids and parents together can watch it and understand the journey before them. If people would like to get involved, they can uh, support a number of events that you actually have coming up where families that you help serve also come and have a day that their children can enjoy. Tell us about the Ride for Kids and the My Starry Night. Yes, we would love to have the community support to come out and you can do that in one of two ways. So Ride for Kids is an event where the motorcycle community gets together and rallies around these families facing brain tumor. Brain tumor is the deadliest disease of childhood cancer and de the deadliest disease in the United States for children. Mm -hmm. But there's also a strong message of hope that's celebrated that day as well. We fund a number of research initiatives including immunotherapy and we're working every day to change the landscape and support families so that we can in turn really fulfill our mission to care, cure, and thrive. Mm -hmm. So the motorcycle community comes out, it gives these families, the, the kids who have brain tumors and teens, and their siblings and their parents a ride on motorcycles on a parade route. And I bet they love it. They absolutely love it. <laughs> Imagine how freeing that is, especially if you've been in treatment and mm -hmm. you don't get to experience some of the daily things that all of us might do and, and take for granted. Yeah. This is an incredible day for them. It's a very safe ride. And so people can come out to the event itself. You can support a motorcyclist who is taking these VIP kids and their mm -hmm. families along for a ride. And you can go along the parade route and cheer them on. All right, Kimberly Roy Canning from the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation. Thank you so much for joining us. They also have My Starry Night coming up, but we've run out of time, so I'm gonna give them the website, and that's curethekids.org backslash NE. Yes. And they can find all the information there, how to register and how to donate. We'll be right back.